Do you reckon we should get him a new bed? We're not made of money. Jase, that bed is so lumpy, it's like Quasimodo's hiding underneath. All right, I'll admit it's seen better days. His dad said out to you. No, uh, but, you know, it must be a bit of a come down for him, mustn't it? I remember Claudia boring me to tears one day, going on about a new super duper king size bed. I was like, sleeping on air. And now he's sleeping on some at a tramp would swerve. Exactly. Do you think he misses her? Oh, God, it's only been a day. Yeah, even so, Steve. Walking away from a relationship at his age is a difficult decision to make. Well, it's his decision. Don't mean it was the right one. Look, I'm just saying, maybe he acted hastily. And somebody has to look out for his best interests. Only you can make that sound like a threat. Look, I know what Corey did was wrong, but nobody forced her to strip off. Well, I should probably thought she'd lose him if she didn't. And combine that with a chronic lack of self-esteem and things can get very confusing. Oh, confusing my foot. I hated how I looked at her age, but you didn't see me whipping my kids off for every Tom, Dick and Harry. Well, it's different now. I mean, there's social media and whatnot, and there's more pressure to conform. You can make all the excuses in the book, Mary, but what Asha did gives all the other girls a bad name. There are some that might say the exact same about getting pregnant at 15, honestly. After everything you and Amy have been through, it's mind-boggling how you can be so judgmental. That was different. A young woman holed up in a bedroom, confused, scared, feeling incredibly vulnerable. Sound familiar? Amy made a mistake. What Asha did was plain irresponsible. And going behind your parents' back and holding booze-fueled parties isn't. That's my daughter you're having a pop at. All I'm saying is glass houses and all that. <laughs> Hello, Addie. Everything OK? Right. Right, I'll, I'll be right over. Do you mind if I pop out for a minute? No, that's fine. Everything OK? Right, I don't know. It's Addie's having a bit of a meltdown. Claudia! Hi. Oh, thanks for getting back to me so quickly, babe. No, no. Dad is absolutely fine. I'm just checking in with you. Yeah. I know. What you're going through is hard. And I just wondered whether you might like a shoulder to cry on? I'm con... When did uh, Claudia get here? About ten minutes ago, why? She's looking for Ken. No, I think Tracy invited her. Of course she did. Claudia, can I be frank? Darling, if it means you're coming to the point, you can be the Queen of Denmark for all I care. I didn't think you were the sort of person to just roll over. Really? I didn't think you'd give up without a fight. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's not too late to get Dad back. Oh, Steve, do you mind? No. Nope. I just want to let you know that this has got nothing to do with it. I just want my dad to be happy. And you want the house back to yourselves, of course. Can't I want both? At least you're honest. To give she has. Look, I'm not going to say that I'm not happy that I now don't have to have an opinion on urban foxes or copper mining in Africa or vegan sausage rolls. And the idea of listening to boring FM every single morning makes me want to chew my ears off, but ultimately, I don't want Dad to be alone. Oh, he is not alone. You know what I mean? You were good for him. Thank you. And he was good for you. Absolutely. And you want him back? No. What? Why? Because it's over. And there's something called bowing out gracefully. Look, I appreciate that you care about Ken and that your heart is nearly in the right place. But there are two lessons I've learned in my life. Number one, never regret anything. Number two, don't buy cheap towels. It's a false economy.